My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist and I'm going to show you how to clone a background in Photoshop. Uh, the, the clone tool is one of the coolest things about Photoshop in my opinion um, and reason being is because you can erase things from a photo in the background using the clone stamp tool. So I've opened my photo and I'm going to go over to right below the paintbrush is this stamp button. I'm going to hold it down and just select clone stamp tool. And so when you're using this tool, um, you're going to notice that when you push option, this little crosshair shows up. And what that's doing is it's selecting a part of the image to clone. So I'm going to select this part. And as you can see, I've got a dot right here that I don't like and I don't want it there. So I'm going to show you how I would get rid of that. And actually what you can do is pay attention to the brightness and color that you're copying because as you may have noticed when I tried to color this it got darker so it looked really artificial. So what I should have done was pushed option and just click a part that's more uh, related to the color that I'm trying to erase. So I'm going to select right next to it and then that's going to clone and sometimes you'll have the option uh, the uh, accidental if, as you just saw, uh, the little dot reappeared, it's because the clone tool captured that and repainted it. Um, so just be careful how far you paint, but I'll show you one, one more time. Um, just hold down control, or sorry, option and click, and then go right on top. And it's just literally painting a copy of the sky that I just captured. So then when I, uh, When I get out of there, you'll see there is no more dot. And you can do this all sorts of different ways. You can actually um, do it over here so that you can create more clouds. You can, if you want to, as you see right here. But it can really r ruin your image, so just be careful You know where you're using it and how you're using it. But as you can see, I kind of just added a new little cloud there. And there you go. My name is Alex, and this is how you clone a background in Photoshop. Thank you.